Hey everyone! Today I will be revealing the Creality LD001 3D printer. Now this is a different kind of printer than I usually reveal because instead of using melted plastic, it uses liquid epoxy. Um, I'm going to explain more about how that works as we go along. I usually use this baking sheet for messy pro projects and it's going to keep the resin from going all over the place. Um, let me move the printer on the chair and put the baking sheet on the table. From outside, I think it's plastic, but it doesn't matter. And inside, it's all metal. And let's take a look at the box. Usually in the box, it's just like tools. Okay, this is the film for replacing uh, the, the film at the bottom. Inside, we have brush, a brush, a uh, U-pen, a uh, plastic spatula, some Allen key, gloves, gloves, more gloves. Yeah, they are all disposable gloves. Power supply, mask, and they give me two bottles of a uh, UV sen sensitive. Resin. Resin, I mean resin. Let's power it on and level it so that we can try a test print. Mm -hmm. So on the display, it looks like the default language is English. I don't need to change anything. Let's, let me double check. Settings. It, it is English. Okay, right now I want to put the build plate in, so I have to uh, take the uh, resin wet, resin wet out first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait, wait a minute. Let me check. Okay, in order not to bump into uh, the top part, the part on the top, I'm going to um, raise it so fit. Way, yep, up. Okay, now let's take the resin wet out. And let's unscrew the, no, let's make the screw on the side a little bit loose before we put it in because later when we level it, we want it to move, move freely. 
so they won't crash uh, to the bottom so first let's put the bill plate in let's there is a slot in the back so you put this all the way in and then you lock it lock it down and then we will insert a paper and now let's home it let's, home it. let's press zero and home it And then let's put our fingers on the bill plate and tighten the screw. Sometimes I just don't have time to write my own code, but there's nothing wrong with borrowing something if it's perfect for the job. This is a wonderful little open sketch script my friend Jeremy Lee wrote for me. It's for making a small hair piece with the test of your choice. It's done in a program called OpenSCAD, which you may have seen me use before. And the great thing about OpenSCAD is you can change the design just by editing a few variables. So here goes. All right, I've downloaded the slicer for the LCD printer. Now let's open it and take a look. So you can switch language to Chinese or English. And the other tools they have is you can change the wheel from top to bottom and left to right. And you can move, uh, scale, spin, and even change the orientation. Now let's import our model, Mary Bun. Of course, uh, we need some support, so let's go to support and uh, Chrome 50%. I just need really light uh, support, it will do. You can, uh, now let's go to auto add support. Looks fine, I think this will work. Next, let's slice it. Oh, before we sliced it, we have to save the file. So let's save the file. Now you can click slice. It's going to take about um, a minute or two. It depends on how complicated the model is. Uh, on the top, you can change the layer thickness also. So here we have our sliced print. We can export it to the USB. Let's export it. Okay, I'm going to try a test print. But first, I've got to put on my gloves and my mask because this stuff smells quite strong. I'm going to pour some resin in but first, I think I need to uh, move it up a little bit. Up. The LP printers use ultraviolet light to cure resin and form the print, but they can't quite kill it all the way. The print will still be soft when we take it out. You can leave it outdoors to cure it, but that can take a while. So I'm going to build a simple cure chamber out of a plastic bucket, a, a battery power display turntable, 
and a UV LED strip. First, I'm going to drill a hole from in uh, uh, in the bucket. Now I think I'm going to take the uh, UV LED strip off the spool first and I want to make sure the light is okay so let's test it. Twelve volts and um, it's lighting up, so it's good. Looks good. I think it's ready to uh, use it for the test print. Now let's see how the print came out. Oh, it looks nice. I'm just going to scrape the print off the bill plate first. Now I'm going to use some more isopropyl alcohol to clean clean the print off. I'm going to use my UV cure chamber. I am going I'm just going to leave it for about an hour then I will come back and take a look at it okay it has quite a bit of support on it but I think it should be easy to take it off Okay, so that's the Creality LD001 DL printer. I'm happy with the hardware, build quality, and output. I would like to see some improvements with the slicing software though. It's workable and gets the job done, but it's Windows only and it's got a few bugs. I'll talk to Creality about that. Remember, DL printers are quite a bit more messy than FDM printers. So be sure you absolutely need the high resolution before investing in one. Okay, that's it for today. Please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.